up north, let's start with the parallel structure next to our original discovery at 513. I mean, we're running over a gram gold for 40 meters with half a percent copper. Um, one thing that I'll say there, though, is that the mineralization is about 200 meters uh, vertically deeper than anything else we've seen, which just opens the whole thing up. So we can chase that intercept up towards the surface. Uh, you know, we believe that it actually will probably impact the 513 discovery. We want to drill a little deeper on that now, now that we know that mineralization occurs and high-grade mineralization occurs. The Financial Survival Network. Now more than ever. The Financial Survival Network. Welcome. This is Financial Survival Network. I'm your host, Kerry Lutz. We are here with Torque Resources CEO Sean Wallace and Chief Geological Officer Michael Henriksen for a major, major sponsor update. Sean, Torque just released the news yesterday that you made two important discoveries at the Margarita Project. Uh, fill us in. Significance, impact, importance. Yeah, well, thanks, Gary. Um, you know, this is a very impactful moment for, for Torque in, in terms of Margarita. Um, you know, we had made a discovery there last year, great, it was sort of hanging out there in space, and then we went looking for, could this have some size? That was the second program. Yes, it could have some size. So this third round that we did was like, is there, is, you know, could there be something of economic significance outside of what we'd already discovered? And uh, as, as you've seen from our news that we just released here yesterday, that indeed, there are two things. One of them is similar to the FIA 13 discovery. It's a parallel structure. I mean, uh, and it's, it, it shows great grade and coppers of what, what we came to hope for from FIA 13, but it's a whole other body. So that says to FIA 13, yeah, you can be big enough to get somebody interested to, to have that. We might be getting that critical mass where that is, you know, a mineable resource. We'll have to go drill somewhere, obviously, to flush that out, but it now it looks like that's even like that's quite possible. And then down to the south, boom, this oxide. We always knew there was oxide down there, but the work that had been done there was sort of pickup truck level, uh, you know, just grabbing the, the low-hanging fruit from the surface type work. And, you know, uh, we drilled and we had this fantastic, you know, 150 meters under whatever, 100, of like half a percent. So what what more could you ask for from oxide? That There are companies out there would love to mine that sort of thing all day long if we can make it big enough. So What's impactful about this is Margarita is a project that we're going to continue to work on. It's a project that we're going to put extra effort, and it's a project that's going to attract a lot of interest from the appropriate type suitors, i.e. mid-tier mining companies. And, you know, there are a number of them active in the area, so it's it, it works quite well. And so, Michael, it's good to see you again. Um, hey, the grades here and the uh, the breadth of what you've uncovered, can you just fill us in a little bit on that? Yeah, I mean, certainly uh, up north, let's start with the parallel structure next to our original discovery at 513. I mean, we're running over a gram gold for 40 meters with half a percent copper. Um, one thing that I'll say there, though, is that the mineralization is about 200 meters uh, vertically deeper than anything else we've seen, which just opens the whole thing up. So we can chase that intercept up towards the surface. Uh, you know, we believe that it actually will probably impact the 513 discovery. We want to drill a little deeper on that now, now that we know that mineralization occurs and high-grade mineralization occurs. And it, and all of this that we're intersecting is, you know, they're open pitable depths. So, you know, really extremely positive up there, as Sean said, in terms of scale. Um, with respect to the south and the oxide, I mean, look, hundred. I think it was 134 meters, just shy of half a percent in oxide, beautiful you know absolutely beautiful and and its location is tremendous in that that intercepts is situated right at the contact of volcanics and intrusives which means you can have these flat lying manto type uh style of mineralization and you build tons quick if that is the case um so it's just it's just blown the doors open for scale on the project. And I think, you know, luckily in my career, I've participated in a number of discoveries and it's got that feel to it right now. You know, every time we step out with the drill, we find something. And that's a rare that's a rare thing. So we're we're very happy with the way this is going. Yeah, you've had a lot of news, a lot of results. We still have seven more drill holes to go, Michael. And can the news get how much better can the news get? I mean, look, Carrie, for me, the news, like, you know, when you're exploring like we did, 
you know, we were putting one hole into various targets. And so already I would tell you that the news, the news is huge for us. You know, we, we see large scale copper oxide potential and our initial discovery getting a lot bigger. I mean, who knows what happens in these next holes? I haven't seen any results. So, you know, I can't comment on that, but already just where we're at, a uh, fantastic program. So looking ahead to 2024, phase four of the project, what uh, what are you leaning towards there? Yeah, I mean, let's just to take it from a technical standpoint only. Um, you know, look, I right away, I would say, you know, so far we put 11,800 meters, just shy of 12,000 meters into Margarita. Uh, with the current, what happened in this round of drilling, you know, we have three bodies that we kind of got to go chase after and do what we did in phase two by showing their continuous. So I could see, you know, technically I could rationalize 10,000 meters, no problem. Um, and I would like to see us do it. Uh, I'd like to see a diamond rig out there as well. You know, maybe one RC, one diamond. The round four is different. You know, with, with round two, we had a single hole into a discovery and then we drilled, you know, to see it could be continuous. In this case, we've got three structures we've got to do that to now. We got the parallel structure at 513, the Cototuda structure, and the Margarita structure. So, you know, just right away, you can see the scale of the program that's justified from a technical perspective. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. So, so Sean, uh, you know, phase four, obviously, you're on to something here, but the market uh, has, has uh, honored you with its indifference. But at the same time as the market is indifferent, the companies, the potential uh, acquirers, suitors, whatever, are showing more interest than ever. Yeah, I think uh, I think there's something that's been going on industry wide. We, uh, Michael and I, attended the Beaver Creek concert uh, co- conference here recently, and uh, there was a lot of activity from mid tier companies wanting to talk to not only us but the other companies because they can see this disconnect between what's happening with some companies, ours in particular, I think. Uh, and the valuation versus like what's happening at the project, the developments, and then the fact that it's not being reflected in the market, which only really increases the value proposition for anybody wanting to come in, be it an investor or a corporate or whomever. When you look at the company that's making these, having these big accomplishments, but not their market cap isn't going along with it. So um, I think there's, that you know a lot of companies are out shopping right now because the because it's uh, things are on sale. Um, fortunately for us, we have very, we hold our shares very well. So the only thing that's going to happen to us is what let we let happen to us. And, um, so people don't have to be worried about anyone coming in and taking advantage, but, uh, certainly it feels good to have an asset that, you know, is being coveted, uh, by the people that ultimately we want to sell to as that is our business plan. That's the back end of what we do. We, we try and sell these assets after we've added value to them. And if I do some back of the uh, envelope calculations, and I'm not, math was never my strong suit, uh, it's almost looking like torque is a value play. I would suggest that, I, that there's a lot of evidence that could strongly support that notion. Right. So eventually, uh, in any market, uh, value wins out. Hey, and we still have the Santa Cecilia project, it's, which prospectivity is as exciting as uh, as Margarita. Well, I mean, we increased the grade by a uh, gold grade over by 70, 80% here in two drills in our first campaign through there. So we're, we're chop now that we've got everything back from Margarita, as great as that is, we love it. Uh, we're chopping at the bit to go up and continue to, uh, to, to expose the value that we believe and that the, our work thus far has led us to believe it exists at Santa Cecilia. I've never felt better about a project than I do that one. So you kind of have to balance, Michael, these two projects. I mean, most companies, most geologists are happy to find one of them in their lives. And obviously you've done multiple, you've done it many times before, but now you got two potential monsters that you're sitting on. Yeah. I mean, look, it's a fantastic position to be in. You know, when we originally went to Chile, um, you, you know, we obviously all know about the world, the world's best copper endowments in Chile. And uh, we knew this. And, um, you know, I think by teaming with uh, our, our, our Chilean team, you know, Waldo Quadra and his team, um, we're just starting to realize the potential of what, what Torx got. I mean, to have two projects is, is exciting as, as, as you can imagine. 
Um, now we just got to continue to advance them, you know, and we've been doing a good job of that. You know, we're, we're now in a phase, I think, crucially where, you know, most of the pre, you know, all the pre-drilling targeting works really being done um, at Santa Cecilia. So we're just able to go up there with the drill, you know, news out of Santa Cecilia will be drill bit. Uh, and obviously, you know, there'll be plenty of drilling news coming out of Margarita in the future as well. So we're, we're, we're extremely well positioned right now. Okay. It, and Sean, how's the uh, treasury looking to finance the future drill programs? Well, you know, Gary, that's the one thing that this disconnect provides a challenge for us. As you know, we have a good track record of being able to raise capital when we need it and, and you know, on terms that are generally beneficial. Uh, that has not been the case for about 12 to 24 months here, even longer for that matter. And and so what you we have about $3.8 million in the bank today. Um, we're going to have to raise additional capital. Um, but, you know, as always, our theme's always been to be, uh, um, you know, uh, sensitive to dilution and the value proposition for existing shareholders and the people you're bringing in. So, you know, probably see us continue to do smaller financings more frequently. Uh, it's not how I like to do it. It's not how we, it is better for the business if we could do big ones and then do them less frequently because it's distracting and it takes resources to go out and do that. Um, but that's that's the hand we're being dealt right now. It doesn't we don't have a say in that matter, and therefore we're just going to do the best job we can within that environment. And I think uh, our strategy is sound, and that we'll be able to maintain the value proposition for shareholders. And that's we're keenly uh, focused on that. Right. Yeah. Well. Hey, you got it. You got to do what the market dictates. You don't have a lot of uh, freedom in that respect. But uh, hey, I'm sure everybody investors companies that have invested to date couldn't be happier. Well, it could be worse. We could be missing at the projects and then we'd be in a whole other world of hurt, <laughs> wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, fortunately that's not an issue. And uh, hey, I guess we can look forward to more good things uh, in the not too distant future. In any event, I suggest everybody go over to the company's website, which is torqueresources.com and sign up for notifications because it sounds like the news cycle is about to pick up. The ticker symbols um, in the in uh, Canada, TS, the TSX, it's T-O-R-Q. And of course, in the U.S., it's T-R-B-M-F. Gentlemen, Michael, Sean, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Gary. Our pleasure. Thank you. The Financial Survival Network.